All right, here we go, y'all. Got the wheels and tires put on the truck. Torque thrust two, American Racing, 17 by eights. Front and rear. Got a five inch uh, backspace on the front and a four inch backspace on the back. Of course, you can see deeper dish on the, the back here since it's got the four inch backspace and a, not so deep on the front since it's got a five inch backspace. So there we go. We'll go ahead and get this tailgate put on. Got the fuel tank in. Everything's doing good on it. Fuel line hooked up. Like I said, I'm gonna go and get started on this tailgate. Here we go. Yeah, I forgot to mention, I've got a two and a half drop spindle on the front of this truck with a one inch drop spring and a five inch drop on the back. So that'll be a three and a half, five drop all the way around. All right, here we go. Got all my stuff together. What we'll do is put this tailgate in on this side first. Of course, it'll be at an angle. Then I'll put this piece in here, slide it on down, bolt it up without scoring something up, hopefully. I've done this once before on a dry fit, back when the tailgate was in prime. Of course, the bed was painted then. Everything seemed to work out pretty good, so here we go.
All right, here we go. Got the tailgate in on this side of the hinge, which is already tightened up. So what I'll do is pick this side up enough where I can get the hinge behind it and slide it on down. See what happens. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Got it in there. Still got to tighten this hinge up right here. I was kind of adjusting it where I want it. It ain't looking too bad right there. There's that side. Gaps ain't looking bad. I probably got about an eighth inch slack to slide the tailgate back and forth. But that ain't bad. When you close it on up, the uh, gaps will be fine on both sides. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these hinges on here, or these chains. Here we go. Here we go. Everything's tightened up, adjusted in pretty good. Let me see if I can close it without tearing something up. Okay, there we go. I know a lot of guys run these chains the other way. They'll come under and come up. Really don't have enough slack right there with that piece of plastic on it. I've always run them straight down anyway.
But yeah, there we go. Here we go, y'all. Been a couple of weeks since I put that tailgate on. Just gonna show it to you out here. There it is. I've got these hooks turned around backward, backwards, left to right, right to left. To get the swing off of there. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it like that. I was just just looking at it. Still gotta clamp them in when I decide, so. I do some work on that tail light right there. I wasn't having a good connection on the ground. Got that working. Had to take a few shims out of the bed, bring it down so the trim will line up all the way down. I think it's pretty close. I don't even know if I mentioned the tires. Nitto tires, 255, 50s, 17s, all the way around. Yeah, but there we go. I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all take it easy.